don't get it this try, I'll reset my console. Because this game crashes way too much for me. Let's go. It doesn't usually happen in a run, but it can happen. Turning the camera probably makes that skip easier. Good start, but I've just got to get locked now. Okay, I finally got it. Finally. I think ledge grab is possible with lock, but it's not easy. Oh my goodness! He didn't grab onto tap! I'm not gonna reset over that. Like that's just a stupid old thing which happened. Surely I lost five seconds to that, but it's like it's not easy to dodge. I lost my time due to the dumb skip. No, I lost my time due to the lock section with the vines. But I'm finally out of that level. Finally. No! I almost never miss this ghost anymore. Made two dumb mistakes in this round. Two really little but dumb mistakes. So easy to make small but dumb mistakes in this round. Please, Lot. That jump isn't always easy to get. Like, if you know how to get the skip, it's not too hard. Over this way. I'm on my way. That was dumb. Congratulations, Team Boobadoodoo! Oh my goodness! I don't like it when he doesn't spin! Got both those jumps. Good. You need both those jumps. I mean, watching the cutscene takes like not much over a second. So, skipping it really isn't worth it. Especially since watching the cutscene gives you mana. And mana is helpful. Oh my goodness, like, stop getting hit! That was scary. I just need a fast arena. Which isn't too difficult. 
Okay, that's hopefully that was all of them. Oh no! That guy survived. Almost a gold. That just proves my gold is great there. Say that I did tack. He ha he's got it, Tack. Don't state the obvious. Hold up there, Tack. Hold up there, Tack. Hopefully I'll get a run outside of this level today. Because I couldn't do it earlier. It's the first time this elevator sunk and the second time my internet died. Didn't get the other top the other mana bonus, but it's not the end of the world. Stop using mana up so quickly. At least I've been getting that jump recently. That's a good thing, because that jump sucks. The weird thing is all the little things seem really hard when you start off, but once you do so many runs, you'll just get all these extended mana jumps without too much trouble. Whoa, that was scary. I would ideally like 12,000 seconds on the timer, but it's not good deal. Right, can I get the skip today? Please get it. I don't want to mess it up again. Okay, that was nice and smooth. Nice. I'm happy about that. Is this going to be a gold? No. But it's not bad either. If I play this level correctly, I can get the sub 16 once again. Wait right there. Well, that's fine. Go on without me. This is enchanting. It's powerful magic. 
I'm sure we'll have to complete the chant before we can go on. This job. I've got to collect all the mana now. There wasn't much mana for me to collect. Whoa, that was close. I'm probably going to die, so I can refill my mana. It probably won't be too much slower, but I do think it'll be slower. But it's all going to be done for a good cause. Now I've got plenty of mana, which is a good thing. I hate this jump. I hate this ghost. Oh, there was no way I was going to get that ghost. I hate this ghost! The main reason why is that you've got. You don't have any space to do the ghost. I'm not getting sub 16. This devil is so hard to optimize. And that one charting stone is the reason. Oh my god! I can't believe it. I slipped off the platform just like that. That's like that's a good half a minute gone at least, if not more. I mean, I'm gonna take it because screw it. I can still fake. PB with this. I can still real PB with this. Lost like 40 seconds to that stupid, stupid death. Whatever, man. Let's just take it. It's not going to reflect nicely on me, and it's probably killed the sub 105, but if I can PB today, then I'm happy. I've just got to stay equal with my PB for the rest of the run. But the question is, do I die now? There's no fast place to die here just got to keep moving and this cutscene does not refill your mana either which is annoying you do need lock in this second section just go get the mana now I've got to be careful in this section ton of time on this segment. I don't like it when the enemies give you time bonuses. Like, in-game getting extra time is not something you want. 
whether that's RTA extra time or in-game extra time. Oh my goodness, I ran out of mana. Running out of mana is really bad. Like, you want as much mana as possible. Even though I should be like a minute ahead of my PB, ideally. Or at least almost a minute. What? I forgot. I forgot a torch. I forgot a torch. I forgot a torch. I'm an idiot. This, but this isn't even going to be sub-16. I mean, sub-17. I'm going to get a blooming 17 on this split. I've lost a whole minute in this level. Oh, how I can't get a good one. I, I always make one dumb mistake somewhere. Congratulations, team! I just hope the rest of this run is good, so at the very least I can say this run was good. Apart from Blumen apart from Blumen Caster's Hill. So you just gotta use your knowledge of Proven grounds as a safety blanket. I'm also going to check that I pick tack after I finish this. You need to get in first, because when you're in first, you know for a fact that, that you know the black mist can't catch up. But at the very least, if you're not in first okay, I'm in third, this is bad, this is bad, this is actually bad. Whoa, why am I scoring so many points even though I'm flying around like a ragdoll? I don't want to be inferred, because if I'm inferred, the black mist can catch up. But if I'm not inferred, the black mist cannot catch up. Because it's impossible for them to be ahead of the fourth. They score points while they're in fourth that's higher than the amount that the third place has. They won't get those points. No, did gifts even exist back in 2005? So he keeps saying he's going to give me a little gift, but I don't see the gift. Another thing is that I can say like three minutes and gasp full. <laughs> I'm doing okay right now. I'm not, doing, not doing as well as I'd like, but I would like to score some more points. I'm 700 points ahead of the Black Mist, and I'm still not in third. 
the blackness kind of catch up. I like it when they hit you and you score points. That's always really funny when that happens. Like you're winning, you're like you're gaining points even though you got hit. Right, I want to stay as tack till the end now. I want to enter Kiro Biro as tack. I finally golded that segment. It's about time. Kirabiro is another level where there's always at least one thing that goes wrong. Hi there, Mr. Man. Hi, Mr. Man. I hit the torch before hitting the checkpoint. Oh my goodness, I landed that jump! Ledge Graveler. But I didn't... Oh my goodness! Give me this jump! This level is so hard to do optimally. Like, there's always at least one little thing which goes wrong. Like, stop! game, please. Now that was really, really slow. Like, all I want is a good run, considering how bad my blooming... You know... What's the level? Castle's Hill was, but that's obviously not happening. <laughs> At least gives me partial and skip first try. Like, that's all I want. Partial and skip first try. Like, if you can get partial and skip first try, you're Gucci. And then if I just don't mess up in the rest of the run. This is a jump you often always fail at least once. Because it's a hard jump. And then you have those worms who always try and attack you. I know the game is called Tack the Great Juju Challenge, but I don't want you to attack me, enemies. I'm the one who needs to attack. <laughs> Shall I do pain bow skip? Screw it, why not? <laughs> Let's go for it. I mean, since Locke respawned, because that's how the costumes work. Okay, I don't have any mana, so I have to bring Locke over. <laughs> Look how much time I'm losing. They're not even in optimal positions. Like, if I don't lose any time partions, this run will be, you know, ahead of the run I had yesterday. But it's worse than the run I had yesterday. Even if I got partions skip first try. And I am going to do Magician skip as well, because that's faster. I've known about it for a while, but... I know I only timed it recently and it is indeed faster. Oh. Wait there till I get the word. Oh, 
So to explain Magician Skip, you basically skip having to kill that guy. Saves a little bit of time. And you do that by going around here, but the problem is the jumping in this game is stiff as all heck. So it isn't as easy as it should be. And I just need to learn to run a little bit more so I get to skip more consistently. You do need to light all the torches before you can do it though. Which is why I light all the torches. Please, I've practiced the skip so much. And I finally remember how to do it, so please, let me get it. Please. Oh, come on! I didn't get enough distance! Oh. My goal for this run, if I get the skip second try, my goal will be 1 or 6. But that's if I get it second try. I got it second try. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, I learned to be careful with those enemies. Gotta not spawn the guy over there. I can skip him. I missed a skip once. Which isn't too awful. I think this is still ahead of the run I had yesterday. But that's not saying much. and it paid off. Ah, what the heck? What? Oh, honestly, what happened? Like, one of them must have hit me, but how? Wow. Doing this level fast is hard, mainly because of the dumb enemies. Like the the tornado rockers. Wait, are they technically magicians? I can't remember. Okay, got the jump first try. That is good. Oh my goodness, I just wanted to land on him! There are magicians in this area, but you can just easily not fight them. Like, you only have to kill the, these guys. You only have to kill the dog-like creatures. That's the best name I can come up with for them. Dog-like creatures. Dog-like rockers is probably a better name for them. Well, I'm going for this. Well, no, I'm not. I was gonna go for the skippy skip, but since I fell off, I couldn't. Check it out. There are imps in those cages. So I have to kill these guys now. Killing these guys is a much slower. 
so it's fine. Oh my goodness, there's still one alive! Like this can easily be an official PV. It can still be. It can still easily be a fake PV. I don't like it when tax is that backwards attack. I never understood how it works. Now I do understand how it works now. If you hold back roughly or harshly, it will happen. My goal here probably isn't great. But getting a good goal here is so hard. Because playing this level optimally is not easy. And there's a stupid rock of area, which is really dumb. There is a consistent way to the first area. The second area is a little bit harder to do, though. Like, you just wait for this guy, you just stand over here, wait for him, and then he should spawn somewhere. Like, where's the guy? I don't know where he is. He's also not going to stop moving if his, his guys are not dead. Is his guy still not dead? Oh my goodness, he spawned behind me. I hate this section so much, because it's pretty much RNG. The first section is manipulatable. Where he spawns is RNG, but at the very least, he's predictable. The second area, however, is not as obvious, and it's a lot harder because it's so much easier to die. I'm not going to lose too much time compared to my PB, but I'm not going to be saving the time I want to save either. It's annoying as well, because I really do want to be ahead. Congratulations, team! And here's my comparison compared to my summer best. 106 is still possible. And I can still get it in this wrong. It's not too hard to play against these some of the best, these best segments. I can't hit them, and that's so annoying, like, they just move so stupidly and randomly. Oh no, I'm in third, that is bad, like, I need to get out of third. Alright, I'm out of third. You gotta stay, you gotta stay out of third so the Black Mist can't win. They are programmed to not be allowed to go ahead of the other opponents. Like this one has these little swivel things. I don't know exactly how they work, strangely enough, but it doesn't really matter. Like, the Black Mist hit me, but since their point score is so close to the Grammar Zone for in third, they can't score those points. And I do like how the game game size did them. Like, it does make these easier, especially if you understand how it works. And you're actually good at these. And RNG is nice to you. Although this is the easier Proving Grounds, like, Proving Grounds 1 and 3 can mess you over if you're not careful. Proving Grounds, the final Proving Grounds is hell, but Proving Grounds 2 is the easy Proving Grounds. Because it, it seems to be the one where the AI puts in the, le the least amount of effort, 
think I don't think I've ever lost fun of drumming for Ring Rose 2. For all you know, I could have jinxed that, but I doubt it. <laughs> but you never know. The ultimate retirement time for me, at least with current strat, is probably like number three. <laughs> so, I mean, I just need to play a minute off my summer best to, you know, get the one to get the one o four. And playing a minute off my summer best isn't hard, especially since some of my blocks are invulnerable. As you can see, I've clearly won this, which is always nice. Playing as tap, which is good. Like you want to be playing as tap when you finish these off. Due to that clicking sound, I have a feeling Windows just messed up on me. It's annoying. Can I reach the checkpoint in time? Was that in time? Yes, it was. Okay, locks right there. Whew, frame perfect. Wait there till I give work. The lock is a lock. I don't think what I did in my, you know, last run was actually faster, so I'm not doing it again. I'm just gonna do my normal out. Whoa, get the torch. Get that torch. And this game has a lot of interesting movement or interesting glitches. Whoa, why was the camera doing that? I mean, you got like. Extended mana jumps, pause buffers, like there's a lot of stuff to this game which just make it so deep. Look, there's a zip line just out of reach there. You thinking what I'm thinking? No, I'm not locked, to be completely honest. Oh my goodness, why didn't he double jump? I pushed the jump button! stuck in the water. Like, that happens too often.
probably going to lose time on the split. Which is unsurprising. Because I've made some dumb mistakes. But then again, my gold here isn't good. Still 106 pace, I think. I mean, it should be. Yeah, it's still 106 pace. Whoa, I nearly thought split there. And I, yeah, I can save a lot of time with this split. That's something I kind of forgot about. And I can save time in the next split as well. Oh my goodness, I hate it when he just drops for no reason. Nearly pulled off my analog stick. That wouldn't have been good. Like, I've got to re -re readjust my finger in my thumb. I mean, I don't even know what I mean, because I just can't talk sometimes. I mean, I'm capable of talking, but sometimes I just say the wrong words. Yes, I actually hit both of them at the same time. That doesn't usually happen. I think both at the same time is surprisingly hard. Skipping that door is so easy, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone back in the day found that. They probably didn't know about extending mana jumping, but... Stuff like that is pretty simple. Please don't hit me, mate. Ooh, that was nice and smooth. Like, I've never grabbed onto that so smoothly. Gotta kill these guys nice and early so I can get their mana. And then sometimes their mana flies off in the wrong direction. I'm not missing you. The thing is that this is completely intentional and I just never knew about it. Which proves that how much I suck at this game. And I ran out of mana, of course. That sucks. Which means I'm losing time, but it's fine. Let's hope I get a juicy ambush grove, which means getting the skip first try. Which isn't too hard for me, but I can still easily choke it. And then of course getting one cycle. Which I can also easily choke, if I'm not careful. Whoa! Yeah, rip goal. Rip time save. Like, why was Locke going in that direction? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. to me! Why am I going so far in the wrong direction? This isn't dead by any means. 106 might be dead, but you know, fake PB is not dead yet. That's like 25 seconds to that. That's pretty bad. I 
And I missed that jump as well, so that sucks. One, two, three, four. Hopefully that was one cycle. Okay, it was one cycle. Like, one cycle is dependent on how fast you kill those enemies. Moving round number three. Let's not mess this up. And then I have a massive time save upcoming. The biggest time save in the run. I mean, 106 isn't dead, but it's unlikely. Gotta stay in first, because I don't think I think the jibber jabber are also programmed to not be allowed to go ahead of the black mist. So you just gotta stay ahead. Gotta keep your head in the game. Come on, Jibber Jabber, why did you hit that? Now, now they're catching up and I'm scared. Now the Black Mist are very far ahead and I'm even more scared. Like, this Proving Grounds is actually hard. Like, the Black Mist are being really cruel. Like, they're scoring... Whoa! I literally just drove through that. Now I'm behind. Now I'm really, 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 really scared. I can still official P officially PB if I lose this, but... I don't want to lose this. We're ahead again. We're only by a little bit, so it's scary. Okay, we're ahead by a little bit more. So that is good. Like, we're, we're getting a little bit further ahead. Even if we can't get ahead of the Black Mist, as long as we're ahead of the Jibber Jabber by a decent amount, 400 points isn't bad. I can't call it victory just yet, but it's looking bright. Very good. Like I'm 800 points ahead of them. Like that is a good thing. And now I'm ahead of Black Mist, so they can't even get ahead of me. Yeah, I'm very safe now. Right. Why can't I skip that? I actually lost time because the music was still playing. And that, you have to wait for a certain music cue for that to actually appear. I got your back, little buddy.
I have a massive time save here. That's due to one simple reason, and that's the skip. I mean, I d I did very my PB was very sloppy here as well, so that also helps. I got a three minute time save here because of the new skip. This level used to be really hard, but the new skip makes it easy. Like this new skip skips most of the level, and it's really easy as well. No! Why did you not make the jump? It's not the end of the world. Like, after split, I'm still going to be, like, over a minute ahead. Easily. You don't need to mana jump up there, you can just get on the, you can just climb up the, you know, arch. Now, there is invisible wall you got to dodge with the skippy skip, but it's very easy to dodge. These guys you've got to be careful with. Because if you're not careful, they'll hit you in the dumbest ways. This might gold. Yeah, gold is. My summer best is definitely provable. Wait, I need to switch lock. It's fine though. Easy peasy. Hopefully I don't make any dumb mistakes in this level. No! Alright, I salvaged it. Even if that, you know, fence died, I would have had to do, if that fence died, I would have had to do a very dumb strat. Which I wouldn't want to do. That jump used to be very hard for me. Oh my goodness, I missed this jump. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, you can easily just jump up there as a backup. That was a sloppy section one. But it's okay. Oh my goodness, I didn't pause buffer. I hate it when I don't pause buffer. and then just, you know, do an, an extended mana jump to get up there. It's pretty simple. You don't get the barrels until now, but they're very useful in this category. I mean, they're very useful in this level. They're more useful than NG Plus when you have them for the whole run. Okay, got to be careful. Because if I mess this up, Bad things are gonna happen to me. I didn't mess it up though. It was slow, but at least I didn't mess it up. I pause buffer because as soon as you pause buffer, you can attack the enemies. And the only attack you'll ever use to attack, apart from a slam, is his spinning move because his spinning move is overpowered. In TAC 2 it's not very powerful, but in this game it pretty much one-hit KOs all the main enemies. 
and it deals with our enemies very quickly since it's a very fast attack. Barrels are useful for destroying spawners, especially, especially in this section. These guys are programmed weirdly, you can kill them all in one hit, or in one go, if you're fast. Okay, I made it through that level. I'm gonna, if I finish Final Proven Grounds properly, then this will be a 107. It's a little bit worse than the one I had yesterday, but I'll take a PB. It's our turn to choose. Okay, I skip the cutscene nice and smoothly. This ready? Let's not mess this up, all right? Round one, let's go. Not the best start, even with a safe strat, but, eh, I'll probably update on Discord once I finish this round. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I got it in the way, so Locke ended up getting hit because of me. Well done, me. I'm behind. I don't like being behind. Like, being behind is bad. Hitting lock as well is not what I want. Well, I hit lock and then he hit them, so that's not bad at all. I accidentally... I froze lock. No, I didn't want to love freeze lock. Lock blew up. And then he blew up in their face to make them to give us points. Come on, Locke. We need to win this. I don't want to lose round one. Wait, can I still officially PB if I lose round one? Because I might. I'm not doing the safer strats because I'm scared. And when I'm scared, I do things that are a little bit more risky. Is hurting. I'm gonna lose this. I'm actually gonna lose this. I am scared as heck. We're eat we're, we're neck and neck now, and it's scary when you're neck and neck. So it can go either way. Either you'll get way ahead or they'll get way ahead. Or you'll just stay neck and neck and someone will become the victor. No! That's bad! This is bad! No! We're gonna lose! We're gonna lose! We've lost! We've lost! I think I can still officially PB, it seems. I can still officially PB. It seems I can, st I can still officially PB. 
But this is only 10 minutes long. I can still officially PB. So I'm gonna officially PB. <laughs> I need a new time for the leaderboards. You also need skill to do well on these. No forgiving if I lose this round or any other round, but if I win, at the very least, I'll get an official PB. Yeah, I can officially PB. My official PB is 112, and losing this, losing the first round is just three and a half minutes, so I can PB less. This is what I wanted in the first round, but I didn't get this. And I hate it when the game just controls itself during these levels. And the game just feels sympathy if you lose the first round. Give me sub 105. And this is 110 pace. Lol. If even. Why you puny? Why you puny? Alright, we've won round one. But that doesn't mean anything. They've got the head start, which is scary. Like, they've got a really bad head start. We're catching up, but we're still behind. Like, I don't like being behind. Like, we got to be ahead. Yeah, I'm getting a lot into the action when I usually stay out of the action. But like when you're losing you gotta go out the action, but when you're winning you can just stay out the action and just get the occasional points when needed.
And what was my goal before? Garson's kick in the second round. Was it 107 or 106? I actually can't remember. It was probably 107. Okay, we are de a decent amount ahead. Not as far ahead as, as, as I would like, but... We're not too... But they're not too close to us either, although they can easily change that out. Hitting those guys doesn't always work. Okay, we've won this round. Let's hope this is a real PB. Because if I don't finish FPG3, it's not even a fake PB. It's literally just a run, a fake run, which is better than my real PB. They're doing, they're doing pretty decently, but we've won this round. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is one. Yeah, this is one ten. <laughs> Let's at least finish the round so I can see the one ten. And if it was another fake PB, if I didn't lose FPG one, that would be bad. Round three is easier than round two, mainly because there's no mines. And it sometimes seems like these guys play fairer, but only sometimes. Oh god, I jinxed it. Why can't I control myself sometimes? It's so annoying. Like, you just want to control yourself, but you can't. You just drive around sporadically sometimes, and it's annoying. I'm trying too hard to hit them. I can't even control myself, so I'm hit. So I can't even hit the little guys. Yes, I've lost this. Like, I'm not even getting a real PB. And that's my fault as well for playing bad. That's my fault for playing really bad. Instead of doing safe strats, I did dangerous, dumb strats. Like, one minute you can be way behind and then you can be catching up the next minute, but it's just dumb. Like, there's no consistent way to win. Now, Travis, I won't have you using your juju powers anymore. When you try and kill those guys, yet yeah, they do not cooperate. Did they even score any points there? Like, what the heck? I don't think they did. Nice dodging there. 200 points ahead is not enough. Because they can easily just hat-trick us. And just catch up. Just like that. Let me win this. Let me win this. That's all I want. I want to win this round. That's all. They're ahead. Darn it. Why are they ahead? Stop being ahead. Like, we're in the last 30 seconds. I'm not even going to beat my fake PB. I'm not even going to get a real PB. Give me, give me, give me. 
Oh my goodness, 150 isn't enough. It's not enough. No! Give me points! Okay. That was close. I got a new real PB. Yeah, you know what the best thing about great warriors, a bad, really bad. Party. Couldn't even beat my bad fake uh, PB. Bad, 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 bad. No, a real PB is, but a PB is PB. So, whatever. Next run should hopefully be at least 107, if not 106, if not 105, if not 104. So I'm not done. This is terrible. This is completely terrible. I nearly lost, but at least I won.